You can use a magnetic line and a drawing to easily control the layout for your balloons. Here I have a drawing with several balloons already added. To insert a magnetic line, I'll click the magnetic line icon on the annotation toolbar or go to Insert, Annotations, Magnetic Line. At this point, SolidWorks is asking me for a starting point for the magnetic line. I can set the length and angle in the Property Manager, or I can click and drag it to locate the endpoint. If I choose to move it with a mouse, the line will snap to vertical, horizontal, and 45 degree angle positions, but it can be located at any angle. To attach a balloon to the magnetic line, I just need to click and drag it near the line and a small magnet will appear next to the cursor. I can also drag the magnetic line to the balloons and it will pick up any balloons it comes into contact with. If I want to add another balloon, I'll have to first add it, and then add it with one of the two methods I just showed. Now with all of the balloons attached, I can easily reposition them, change the angle of the line, change the spacing, or anything else that I need to do. Let's take a look at some of the options in the Property Manager. I can choose equal spacing so that the balloons will automatically be evenly spaced along the magnetic line. Or I can choose free drag so that the spacing is manually controlled. But both options will allow you to maintain the balloon spacing if you move the line around on the drawing sheet. I'll use equal spacing and click the green check. If you prefer using auto balloon to add balloons, magnetic lines can also be added easily with auto balloon. I'll delete the balloons and the magnetic line, and I'll click on the Auto Balloon icon in the Annotation Toolbar. I'll make sure the Insert Magnetic Lines option is checked, and as I click through the different pattern types, you can see that magnetic lines are automatically created to fit the pattern. I'll use the Layout Balloons to top pattern and after I click the green check, the magnetic line behaves the exact same way as earlier. I can click on a balloon to activate the magnetic line, and then select the magnetic line, and I again get the magnetic line property manager where I can adjust the length, angle, and spacing. In addition to organizing balloons with a magnetic line, I can also organize them by choosing how I want them to be numbered. However, to do this, I must have a bill of materials created before I add the balloons, so I'll delete the balloons and magnetic line again. To add a bill of materials, I'll right-click and go to Tables, and select Bill of Materials. I'll select the drawing view as the model for the bill of materials, and under BOM Type, I'll choose Parts Only, and click the green check. I'll place it on the top corner, and then with the drawing view highlighted, I'll select Auto Balloon from the Annotation Toolbar. Because I have a bill of materials, the balloons are automatically linked to it, and there are new options available under Item Numbers. If I select Follow Assembly Order, the balloons are numbered according to their order in the Assembly Feature Manager. If I click on Order Sequentially, the balloons are reordered so that the top left balloon starts with 1 and continues sequentially in the clockwise direction until the end. The Bill of Materials is also reordered to match the balloons. If I want to start the order with an item other than the top left item, I can just click on the first item box and choose another balloon. That balloon now starts with one, and the rest are ordered clockwise like before.